Right. How is everybody? Hopefully I should be able to get this on and uh, we'll do a bit of a live tonight. Um, I need to go there. And then hopefully we'll get the chat up. That's what the plan is anyway. Which will be good. Oh, that's a terrible thumbnail. Don't know what I've done there. Let's close that down so I can see the chat. If anybody's in, would they like to say hi? It's a bit cold tonight. But I thought I'd do a bit of a catch up. Just to let you know that everything's fine. Let's just get the camera in a better position. So, uh, that's a bit better, in it? Yeah, good. looking good. <laughs> yeah, hi, Towels Games. Nice to see you. Nice. Uh, James Mower. Moa, nice to see you. Oh, tell you about it, Steve. I've been away for a while. So, um, yeah, I did the video on the uh, Tamiya catalog, which really, really well. And... Uh, yeah, that's basically how far I got, really. I haven't done much on the modelling side this month at all. Um, yeah, just uh, really just been a case of catching up with things in the office here. You know, I've been uh, um, tidying up the office. I've moved a lot of the stuff down from the attic into this space now. So this is my workshop area now for when I want to do... Um, uh, models and I thought tonight I'll have a crack and start doing this FX Concord. Now, if you've seen the video to this, you really remember that I it came with missing parts. Now, my worry is, did they, yeah, there it is. This bag of missing parts came um, to replace the parts that were missing from this kit, which is good. There it is. That's the missing part there. So, yeah, it was a, you know, it's not a bad video. I was, you know, it's not a bad looking kit really for a Concorde. And I thought that maybe it's time for me to build a Concorde because I haven't built one in many a year. And I thought it'd be nice to get this all nice and built. Uh, this one comes with glass, which is good. Um, but you've got the option there, I suppose, of doing it with or without the glass. I said, with, with or without the, the, uh, um, I suppose we might even bother using the glass on this one. Um, I think there is an option here in the instructions on building it with the glass or not the glass. <laughs> if you do it at supersonic speed, the gaps appear on your desk. No, I don't think so. <laughs> I don't think so. Um, yeah, and right to see you anyway, Steve. How's your channel doing? Um, just looking at here. I suppose you can do either. I don't suppose you need the glass then. You can do it without the glass. So you, because the the actual um, decals aren't really helping because there's no there's no um, holes in the in the in the decals or the decals. I think what you've got to do is is lay this down first and. Um, and then put the the windows on top. So, yeah, I'm just looking at that now. Interesting, though, isn't it, the instructions? They've actually they've got it already there with, the, with it painted and the decals on, just basically showing you where the glass goes in. But So, I, so in this instance, I don't think I'll bother with the glass, um, with these, with this anyway. Um... Just trying to see how, yeah, I'm assuming then there's only two pieces here, one of three. So that's it there, really. The colour scheme, the prototype one, they've got, that's the only colour scheme they've got. The only, the only scheme they've got is this. Um, so then, yeah, so you can't really use, use the glass. Unless you put the glass in and then you're going to cover it over with the decal sheet. I wonder how well the glass fits in here. You know, is, is it flush? That's the question. Is it how flush it's going to be? Just put them in there. How flush are the... Um... Let's go 
go for the outside. How flush they're going to be. Yeah, it's difficult to really know what to do about this one. A little bit of warpage there, as you can see on this one. There's a fair bit of warpage there. It's, it's going to take a little bit to glue together. Remember, this is the vintage prototype kit, not the um, later um, Concord kit that they did. This is this is the prototype one. Yeah, it's going to take a little bit of clean up to put this right. Um, what's happening to the concourse then? I'm assuming aeronautical museums as such. Yeah, there's Bristol um, have one, um, which is a really good display. They've got one at the Yelverton. Um, they've got like the pr the prototype there, I think it is. Um, but yeah, it's going to take a bit of work. Just trying to line it all up here. Um, but the question is whether do I do I bother with the glass inside first? It's going to take some pushing together. There's some gaps there. That's awful, that is, isn't it? You're going to have to fill that in, I think. Um, and, you know, decide whether to have the gearing up or the gearing down. I'm, I'm, I'm in two minds what to do about this one, really. So this is the prototype one, isn't it? Let's make sure it's the prototype one. Yeah. Um, it does say prototype on the actual... Yeah, it's the prototype in proposed GBOAC. Hmm. Number one. Interesting how that goes on though, isn't it? See the 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 that's a bit of a strange one because they've got the Yeah, I'm assuming it, it doesn't go right to the very, it might go right to the point there, so you've got a little flat bit there. We'll have to have a play with that and see. But yeah, so obviously you've got to decide, you know, how you're going to build this. If you have the blue stripe going down, which is, it's going to take some, you know, the, to get that dead straight along there is going to be a bit of a nightmare, but it's worth a crack. Um, I'm just seeing 12 eight. so give you a choice of 12 12B or 12A, so you've got a choice whether you go with the circular one, with the with the um, hollow ones, or you've got the silver uh, window tint ones. But it looks like you're going to have to put the the um, um, you're going to have to put the glass in on this one. So yeah, and the other choice is whether to have the gearing up or the gearing down. I do have. Um, some stands so I can have it up or down I suppose but yeah that's the that's the way we're going to look at this so this is going to take a bit of work to get it looking pretty good yeah because there's no front windows here they've just got it just going down straight so you haven't got that uh, um, which is a shame you haven't it looks in the picture that it should be glass there but obviously they're not going to bother with this one so the, as I said, the question for me is, is that do I put the glass in or not bother the glass in? That's what I'm wondering now what to do. Um, look in the chat, got 15 watching, only one like at the moment. So if you could like the video, that'd be brilliant. Um, Sully, hi Sully, mate. Yeah, one went to the US and was it for the RS Museum in Cosford, was it? Oh, that's a shame. Um, but yeah, the one in Bristol, I went there... Uh, which is the um, um, the one, you know, the, the original. I went there and that was a really good day. That was a good day out to go and watch that and see all the, uh, all the you know, to see the Concorde in all of its glory. Anyway, 
Oh, we've got 11 likes. That's good. Hi, Spring Glue. Hope you're well, my friend. Hope you're well. So, yeah, it's going to take a bit of clean up this one and put it together. Um, and I, I'm, I am thinking of just putting the glass in. So, you've got number 17. And you've got 21. 17. What's 17 then? Am I missing some glass here, am I? What's 17 then? I've got 17 there. 16, 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8. Um, 18. And there's a 6 and 7 there, so 18. So I, am I missing a piece of glass here? I hope not. So there's 17. So what's 17 then? Let's have a look in the instructions. Um, plenty of instructions here. Okay. Hmm. Interesting. Eight, nine, ten. An eight, nine, ten, and eighteen on one side. Okay. Um so eight, nine, ten will be that one there. Wow. Let's have a little poke then, shall we? Let's see. Cut these out. Oh, they snap in nice. And they are pretty flush, actually, to be fair. So they are pretty flush, which is good. So, we've got eight. Whoops. What are you going to do? Uh, eight, nine, ten. Number nine goes next. And then you got number ten. Number 10 goes in. Perfect. 8, 9, 10. Then you have number 18, which is this one here. We've got a bit of flash on this one. There's a little bit of flash on this. We just trim off the flash, like so. So we've got number 18. Click through the 18. So you've got your four there. Mm. Push him in, he might need a bit of a clean up. He's not quite fitting right, is he? Trim that off a little bit. It's good. Yeah, the Paris crash was devastating for Concord. Um, but it wasn't... It, it, it became profit-making all because of the duty free, if I remember rightly. And all the big all the big people with money would do it. So then we need 14, 15, then 20. So we need 14, 15, then 20. So uh, there's 14, 15... Does worry me about this 17 now. I, have I got enough? So that's got one, two, three. Then we have 14, 15. 14, 15. So there's five. One, two. But then that's got the door on that side, hasn't it? Let's look at this. So we need um, 14 and 15. 14. And then 15. Number 14 goes in next. Perfect. Then number 15, which is here. Number 
Number 15, that goes in. Oops, missed the hole. Perfect, that's number 15. And then you need number 20 for the back. So number 20, just pierce them in there. Number 20, in he goes. Perfect, so there's that one done there. Push that one up, then we start with this side. And so from the front again, you start with 11, 12, 13, which is these three. So 11, 12, 13. So I am missing one of these glasses, which is a bit of a shame. Um, I'll have to look back at the video of the uh, of the review of this just to see where where it's gone. That's in flush. And the next one goes in flush. And finally, this one here goes in there. Come on. Down in flush, you need your four, which also has quite a bit of flash on here. So we just nip him out, cut the flash around. So there's up to that, cut that flash, and cut that flash, and cut that flash there. Perfect. He runs on in there, and then, yeah, so we have we are definitely missing. Number 17 on this one, which is a shame. Because that means there's two parts missing on this one. So we'll put that one in there. And then you have this one here. Just make sure in that box. Because I said I was very careful with this box. Because it, it came quite loose. So that one can go in there at the end. And just to make sure it's not in here. That's not there, that's not there. Just make sure it's not in here somewhere. No. There's the wheel. There's another wheel. Which is unfortunate. So yeah, we are missing some glass. What I can do is just fill that in. And because uh, a decal's going over it anyway. But it is a shame when that happens, but we can't get it right all the time. So if we just spin that around there carefully, put them back in position, move that bit of flash out. And what I'll do is I'll, I'll use um, some Tamiya Thin, the Quick Thin, to put these in. Where's me? There they are. Just use these a minute just to help me get these in position. Perfect. That's it. That's a real shame that. Um, but I can fill that in. I can put some filler in there and just leave it be. So we'll get the Tamiya Extra Thin Cement on this one. So this is the lighter green one. And just run it down the edges on this because I don't, you know, you're not going to see because the decal is going to cover them. Yeah, this kit's been fraught, fraught because I, I was missing a wheel, um, which I couldn't find. So he sent me a, another wheel. They're in. Let me just give them a little push in. Make sure they're in position. Push them in. There we go. Nice and easy. That's all. So that's glued in. I haven't done that end one, have I? So grab here. And he goes. And then we just push them in. Perfect. 
and leave that to dry. That one is dry and then this one here is the same. So we're not going to see these uh, outside windows because they're going to be full of Covered up with decals. Perfect. Let's get this in there. Make sure he runs along. Perfect. There you go. That's the gluing dump. Put a little bit on the edge there. And then just push them in. The thing about this Tammy Extra Thin Quick Stuff, it does work pretty fast. And there's all the windows in. Perfect. I'm going to have to sort that out, whether we um, fill that in or not. See, I'm just not too sure. That seems to be setting quite nice. I need the bulkhead now, if I remember rightly. The 22 and 22A. So let's go in here. There's 22s. So is that the bulkhead in there? No, the bulkhead's on here then, is it? So there's 22 and 22A. As you have to worry about you're not going to see any of this. I will just uh, give a clean up. Just going through the chat at the moment. Uh, nice to see you, Peregrine Tokes. Nice to see you. Uh, Mojo Jojo. Oh, that's cool. That's sure an awesome looking plane. It is a good plane, yeah. Lack of engineering support from Airbus hastened the decision to retire them. Was it Airbus, was it? Yeah, it never surprised me. Um, the one at Hermsgel is an official mock-up for the trade shows. If you have a coffee and tea aboard... It's a great museum with a with a wide selection, and it's only thirty minutes from the Frankfurt Hahn via Ryanair. Oh, I have to look into that. Yeah, Michael Hazel time was uh, was trying to sell this, and they sold them to the all over the world, and then everybody pulled out because they were dirty and noisy. Hi, Riri. Uh, my last Revel kit had more flash than parts, but was an old friend mode, an old friend mode apparently okay um when those things hit the sky it must have been the buzz around the world it was 1969 wasn't it anyone got any new kits yeah i've got a few um miss you doing today's stream was it yeah sorry mate i was uh i was doing, doing my thing like you know i was, I was doing my thing you know, you know trying to make a living really so that will slot in there like so. Last build was the Revel 148 Spitfire. Bought my first set of Vallejo paints to go with it. But being a newbie, did not realise I bought the ones designed for airbrushes. Well, even the airbrush one, I tend to thin them down a little bit. Because I think they're still a little bit too thick. Um, but I think other people here can um, tell you what the crack is with, uh, with Vallejo. Vallejo, you can paint them. You can paint, you know, you can use your hairy stick with Vallejo, but it'll be, um, you, you're better off uh, buying their, their, their model paints, not the model air paints. You know, the airbrush ones do say air. So that then apparently will sit on there. Come on. A little bit of flash there. Yeah, I did, Sully. Yeah, it was. Um, they, I think they shit themselves. Basically, what happened was I'm I'm affiliated with FX, right? Using a company called Partnerize. So if you buy a model kit off the FX website using one of the links on the channel, we get a very very small commission, and that kind of helps the channel grow because I'm able to buy more kits to review, more tools, etc. So you know, hopefully, it pays for itself in the end. And um, I get a notification saying that they've they've dropped me. Airfix have because of fraud and so i contacted 
Airfix. And I said, how, how can it be fraud? I said, oh, you know, we're seeing a lot of uh, fraudulent buys. Um, um, when you can sort it out with partner eyes, we'll let you back. And I'm like, well, what the, you know, what WTF? You know, because if you speak to partner eyes, they tell me to speak to you. And you're telling me to speak to partner eyes. Well, apparently I had a meeting. And what it was, um, one of the one of the videos I did, I think it was the the club kit one, the club um, the club video had quite a few clicks, and they thought it was fraud. And then all of a sudden they said, no, 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 Moz had uh, done a video, and a lot of people watched the video, and also the mystery bundle video as well, and people went and bought their mystery bundles, and so then within about twelve hours I was back on doing the. Uh, you know, being an affiliate marketer for Airfix. But um, that doesn't mean that um, I'm, uh, you know, I have to, I've got no rules. I, you know, it's, uh, it's a very small commission. It's not a lot. But it's just, um, it just helps the channel a little bit, you know, because this, this, this modelling game costs money. Ask um, Sprue and Glue there. He knows how much money <laughs> we spend on models. It's, 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 um, it's a lot of money. So we'll just go in there and, Put a little bit of Tamiya in there. Actually, I'm going to buy that. I'm going to actually... Um, I think I'll use the uh, the Humbrol this time. Where's my wipes in a minute? Let's get the wipes out. Yeah, they, they, they are a bit thin, but that's the whole point of them, isn't it, you know? I'm just go in here. This, by the way, has become my go-to glue. I used to be a big fan of this but i think this is a bit better and when you use it let me know where you get on with it because i think it's a bloody good glue so it comes out it coming out now i just find the bottle easier to manage this one here i know you know you, it's a weird shape and you hold it like that and you squeeze but you, you gotta squeeze back here not the front because it's too it's just a little bit too tough you got to squeeze it there well on this one you can squeeze it where your fingers are that's the reason i like it and it does seem to f fix the the plastic quite well and it does dry quite clear actually so it's still too thick you know if you're gonna you know i wouldn't i'll still use the tamiya brush one so make that straight in there like so a bit fiddly this one i think if I actually put the glue in first, the cement in first, that's it. And then, so that's got the, where's me uh, little tweezers here? And then just try and get that to slot in, be straight. Not quite, there you go. He's looking quite straight now. Push him up a little bit, whoops, too far. Not looking about middle to you. Oh, so as once he's in there. Oh, you bugger. I think that's pretty much done that. Just squeeze up a little bit there. He is central. Perfect. I think that's him. Looking pretty good to me, that. And then what I will do is, because now he's there, I'll put a little dab in there. Just bring him out. There. That's him. And I think that's pretty much done on that bit. I don't think there's anything else to add to the inside, is there? Uh, two and... I've got to add the, um, the glass inside. Bug, I forgot about that. So first thing I need to do is, where's the glass to again? Where have I put the glass to? Down here. The first thing I need to do is give this a coat of mascot. Because I want to protect it from when I spray it. So we'll get the mascot out. And I need one of these, which is um, the old, actually first off, Stirrers, get your stirrers from McDonald's. They are absolutely perfect. When I go to McDonald's, I pick up about a dozen. <laughs> As you can see here, I've uh, I've robbed a few. When you get your coffee or when you get your your tomato sauce or your 
your um what do you call it um barbecue sauce tomato sauce pick yourself up no pick yourself up these they're brilliant slap them in half absolutely brilliant for stirring so what I need to do now is get my cocktail stick, load up the cocktail stick and then pad this down on here. And this will protect it so when you when you want to spray the the concord up, this will, will go you know to a, a darker purple. And then when you finish spraying it, you just pick this off. So I haven't bothered with them ones there because it's going to have a decal put over the top of it. But yeah, just put this on, leave that to dry. Get right around the edge. Nice big gloopy mess. Right to the edges. So when you when you put that in and then you and it glues, I should go a bit on the edge there. Hang on. Scrape that away. That's it. So when when you put it in, when once that's dry and you put it away, um, you can then spray it and then pull it off and you have clear parts. That's the theory anyway. I'm sticking with it. Goes over there out the way. Put that out, and that's the masculine bit done. I have to leave that to dry. I'll probably leave that an hour. Actually, I've got the radio. I've done. I've got the radiator on, so I'll leave that to dry over there. I'm gonna put them in, but there is some doors to go in as well, isn't there? Number two. Where is number two here? That's number two there, is it? So you can put that door in anyway. Yes, the, look at that door. Oh, that's going to take some work, isn't it? That door. Let's, uh... It's number four, is it? Oh, and that's number four. So that's the door for the other side, is it? It's number four. So where's number two door then? Ah, there he is. There's number two. That's number ten. Let me get this right so I get it right. So number two, 22. Number three. Was that number three, is it? Oh, that's number three. Ah, okay. Oh, I've begged. So that's not number three, is it? It's my eyesight. That shit these days. That's definitely number two. It's definitely number two. And this one here is number four. So it's not that then. That does say four on there, doesn't it? Uh, that's number three. So number three goes on this one on the outside. That's number three. That's got to be number two then. Says number four. Oh, is number four. Oh, yeah. Divi. I get that right now. Do apologise. Number two is the actual is the actual thing. I looked at two and I just see we have double check stuff, isn't it? So we just cut that out there. Cut it off. Cool. A little bit of flash on this. So it's an old kit. Show up a little bit. Trim that side up there a little bit more. And let's have a look. Mm, it's going to be a little wet, but number two, apparently, will go in there. Oh, that's terrible, isn't it? I think that's going to take a bit of filling, isn't it? Uh, 
Okay, so number two. It needs a little bit of uh, clean up. Look at the chat. Oh, it's a little frog kit. Ah! Was it frog, the Revel one, was it? Are you sure it was frog? Because I don't believe Revel bought the frog kits. I thought they bought the Matchbox kits and the frog kits were bought by the Eastern Europeans. Like, um, Arc Models do them now. But originally it was Nova. Nova was the, uh, the buyer of all the frog tooling back in the day. But we know there's history there anyway. So this is going to need a bit of filling. So we'll put that in there, slot him in as best we can. See that? It's a little bit, bit, oof. but we'll fill him. We'll get him into position. We'll fill him up and then we'll give him a coat of, uh... we'll just, uh, He is going to take a little bit of fill this one. We shall fill him in, make sure he's in nice. And then we'll sand him down, put a filler in. He's not looking too bad there, actually. Now, if I just push him out a little bit to the side, I think that's pretty much there, isn't it? Cool. So he's now glued. We need the other door now. Which is this one. Put him as close as we can. Try and trim off a little bit. Oh, that's him. Get rid of that flash there. Cut him through there. Get the old sanding stick out. The old flory, flory sanding sticks. No, it's not a frog kit, mate. No, um... If it was Revel, it would be Matchbox, because Matchbox was bought out by Revel back in the day. And uh, here's a little something for you, gents. You know I do the, and ladies, if there's any ladies present, um, you know I do the catalogue videos. Well, I went to Revel this year, and I've asked them for their catalogue, and I've had a response that they're not going to be doing a catalogue this year, which I think is a tragedy, because that's, that's all part and parcel of, you know, if you can't afford to buy the kit, at least you can afford to buy the picture. Do you know what I mean? So they won't be doing a catalogue. And also, does anyone know about a company called, is it Carrea? C-A-R-R-E-R? -E eh? I think that's what it is. They're the company, and they do like, well, I thought they were a poor man scale electrics, but somebody's told me otherwise. Now, they're very good. But they've been bought out by this company called Carrera, and they respond revel-carrera in their email. So I'm assuming that, this, uh, they're doing the UK distribution of Revel kits. I think that's how it works. But yeah, I was very disappointed to hear that they will not be doing a catalogue this year. Which is a crying shame because that's all part and parcel of being a scale modeler is having a skin for the catalogue to see what you're going to build next, surely. <coughs> this is going to need a bit of a, a bit of a pay, a bit of a, um, sand and clean up on those doors, unfortunately, on this. But we're getting there. So that, we'll leave that to dry a minute. I'll just look in the chat. Um, So it was an old frog mode, not a, uh, not old friend. Oh yeah, I see that. Yeah. Um, anyone else in the chat? If you want to say hello in the chat, just put the thumbs up. If you want to ask me any question, you're quite welcome to ask me any questions. Anything you got on your mind, just come and tell me. Tell me how crap at model building I am. But yeah, um, I said Jerry. Yeah, it's a bit of a crying shame that because I think that you know, yeah, I understand that some model companies are moving towards the web website side but have you be honest with you have you ever come across a really good website for finding what you want 
I, I, yeah, it, it, I, you know, the Tamiya website is, is just garbage. It really is. Um, pardon me. Yeah, it really is garbage. The Airfix one is all right. Um, but the other day I typed, I'll tell you what I was looking for on the Airfix site was, um, what was I looking for? I, anyway, I couldn't find it. Um, I think I, t I think I typed in something like hurricane. That's what it was. It was a hurricane. Yeah. So I, I haven't got any hurricanes in stock at the moment. I haven't got any hurricanes in my stash. And I won this off eBay. And it's um, a special edition card. And it was signed by Flight Lieutenant A. McKins. Is that how you say it? McKins. And this was a special edition to be personally signed by a veteran who flew Hawker Hurricanes with the 601 Squadron during World War II, so the Second World War. So I'm assuming that he flew this plane, UFL, and I thought I'll get a Hurricane and actually do it like this with that number, th those letters, that number, and, um, and put this card in behind. So I have like a display with this card because it was signed by this chap. Um... Yeah, it's a lovely, lovely card. So I won this on eBay for, like, I think about a tenner. And I thought it looked really good if I put it in a nice frame and get the... And I went and I put it in Hurricane. I couldn't find a Hurricane. The hurricane didn't come up. It wasn't until I went on to start a set or something um, that it came up in the list. It was quite strange. Hi, Celtic West. Hope you're well. Um, so, yeah, that, that's something I'm looking into at the moment, is to do that, do a Hurricane. But you come across... The website's... You can't browse them. That's the fucking issue. You can't browse these websites, can you? You've either got to go in, know what you want, or roughly what you want, um, but you can't, you know, it's very difficult to go into a website. It's not like browsing for a shop, is there? You know? I suppose you put, you know, on on the Rebel... But the Rebel site just isn't just about scale models, is it? It's all their other bumps as well, like their drones, their racing control cars... Um, or those 3D puzzles, which, by the way, I'm a big fan of their 3D puzzles. Um, but yeah, the website-wise, you know, it, it's, 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 you can't browse. But with a catalogue, you can, can't you? You know, you get your catalogue, and you look through it, and you get yourself a semi on because there's something in there. And it looks good built, don't get me wrong. This is why, this is why the Tamiya catalogues are quite nice, because they're actually built models, aren't they? Whereas the... The Airfix one, which... Where, have I got the Airfix one down here? Hang on. Where's the Airfix one? I've actually got the catalogues here on a shelf. Where's me... Um, there. Hang, hang on. Two secs. Oh. Right, hang on. Whoa. Oh, dear. Money box. Um, have I got the Revel one up here? Do, do, do. That's Revel, isn't it? Is that Revel? Uh... That's not Revel. Uh, that's Airfix. Airfix. I don't know what I've done with the. Uh... Is that Revel there? That's a Revel one. That's 2020. That's the one. That's the last one, I think. I guess I did another one since then. Um, I don't know what I've done with that Tamiya catalogue. It must be here somewhere. But the. Uh... It is the FX one, but I don't know what I've done with the Tammy one. The Tammy one must be around here somewhere. I have to have a look. But, um, yeah, so when you get the Airfix catalogue, uh, doo -doo, which is, I, I, this was, I really enjoyed this one. It's not built models, it's, it's the box art, isn't it? Whereas Tammy is, is the actual, well, that's actually, yeah, that's the, uh, is that the model built? It's hard to see if it's a model built or not. No, that's not the model built, I don't think. And that's the model build. But yeah, it's um it's uh it's all box art, it's not actual models built where the Tamiya ones are this is the Revel 2020 uh catalogue. And as you can see, it's not you know, they've got all these junior kits in there, 3D puzzles, um, they're American cars, you know, it's and you know, to be fair, they're accessories. Don't get me wrong. I have been trying out the aqua colours and I'm actually quite impressed by some of them. You know, 
I've done a video on the airbrush kit, didn't I? You've all saw that one. But, you know, um, they're bringing out, they brought bringing out a new compressor in 2020, but I didn't see that one. But they are bringing out, I know um, Humbro are bringing out uh, a compressor set as well now. There's, yeah. Radio control car, sorry, I'm yawning here. It's a bit late, isn't it? So yeah, this is all. This is the you know, the drone. So, but this is it. I think is it. I've done, I think I did twenty twenty one. So twenty twenty. No, I didn't. This is the last one they ever did. This is the last one I think. But yeah, you know, it's a crying shame. But you know, they're saying oh, you've got to move with the times. But you can't browse on a website, can you? It's not. It's not easy to browse on a website, unfortunately. So anyway, so these should have all stuck together now. So that should fit in there. That should fit in there. And then it should line up. Let's have a look, shall we? Let's see it all line up. That's it there. So that one's popped in there. Come on, pop in. Oh, look at that. There you go. So is he all lined up? Is he all... He's not lined up at the top here, is he? There you go. So... There it is. We've got to have a little bit of uh, a rub down on the top here to get that looking good. So out with the uh, the masking tape. We'll go this side over the top there. Perfect. That's that one round. Push him to there. Not quite long enough, is he? Let's get another bit, I think. So in case we're just uh, masking this all up together now, I think. Hi, John Alex. How are you, my friend? Thanks for joining the chat. There. That's not looking too bad. I need a bit of a rub down, but it's not looking too bad. There, the end, we need a bit of a rub. Get rid of this a minute, because I think the Discord keeps on pinging. Um, neat. Right, so there we go. This is a case of just rubbing through, making sure it's all lined up, top and bottom. Not looking too bad, that is it. Well, let's do the front a minute. That's looking pretty sus in there. Let's get the thin a bit. Rip out, rip it out. And then, oh, I can't do that yet, can I? So I haven't done the um, glass yet. Bugger. Good stop there. That's a good stop. Hang on. Reverse, reverse. We'll reverse this a minute because I haven't done the glass, have I? So I'm jumping ahead of myself here. Good, good stop that because I would have looked the right old tool if I can put the glass in. I haven't put the glass in yet. Let's so, run that through there. Carefully lift them up. Little. Shame, but oh well. Had to be done. Right. So we have to put the glass in here now. So is that dry yet? It's not quite dry yet though, is it? <sighs> yeah. I'd love to apologize being late, mate. Is uh, you know, I'm I'm gonna start doing some more live streams. Um I'm actually in the process of building the Bugatti. Um and so I've only got this far because I went to spray it. Right, here you go. This here. This is I was going to spray it with Humbrol 19 because that's what it said. And I thought we'll have a crack with this. But it's such a thick paint that I'm going to order another one. See, because the yellow one, can you hear? I don't think you can hear this, but the yellow one. Hear that? Lovely. Lovely. Good, you know. But the but the red is solid. It's really solid, and I don't understand. Listen, see this one here, which is the 106. Lovely and loose. 34. Lovely loose. The red, solid. It's like solid, and when you pour it out, it's like toothpaste. So I've ordered another one, which I'm going to pick up from Buffers. I'm going to have to Buffers, and or I'm going to try and get the uh, aerosol can version and just spray aerosol can, and not bother with the um, with the with the um, airbrush. Now, I know people saying, oh, airbrush, you know, but I'm being honest with you, I am, I'm really, I'm really enjoying, I've, since I did that jag, 
I'm really enjoying using aerosol cans because it's no clean up. You know, sh 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 spray it, put the can down. And, and if you learn to use the can, use your distance and just be careful when you spray, you get just a good finish. You do with an airbrush. I know it's lazy, but I'm just saying, I've really enjoyed um, doing that, you know, actually um, um, using, using the, uh, using the, using the, um, the aerosol cans. So number six, no, that's number 18, six and seven, that's number seven. It's not quite dry yet, that. We'll wait for a little minute before we do that. Try a cent well, you're talking about 75 um, Humbro thinners to 25% paint. Is that what you're saying? Because I wouldn't even use the Humbro thinners. What I would use is the Tamiya X20A. That's what I use on Humbro these days. But yeah, it's absolutely solid. It, it's, it's terrible. And I thought, well, I won't spray it with this. I, I know because I was just, you know, but you can just see how thick the paint is. It's It came out terrible. And I thought, do you know what? I'll go and get um I'll go and get the uh um the spray can version or I'll get another order another one of them. But I so, say yeah it's uh, hi hi Eddie Birdie, nice to see you. And Ollie, nice to see you too. God, it's a bit noisy outside tonight, I tell you. Very noisy outside tonight. Uh, right, come on, is that not dry yet? I don't, I want it to be perfectly dry because I said that this will be my, um, my out is it when I spray up and it will just, uh, protect that, protect the glass when I spray up and then you just peel that off then. But I need it to be properly dry. Are you tired, are you, Liam? You've got a headache. Yeah. Ibuprofen. Is your friend. Uh, what time is it anyway? How long have I been on for anyway? How long have I been on for? I've been on for nearly an hour, have I already? Crumbs. Goes quick, doesn't it, when you when you get enjoying the old modelling. But yeah, I'm I'm in the process of doing that Bugatti, but that will be a time lapse build. Um which will go out probably in the next couple of weeks when I finish giving it a paint job and everything else. Um, um, and also there's going to, I'm going to start doing live streams for channel members. Um, cause I've got memberships now for this channel. And um, I might do um, Q and A's and stuff um, with channel members. Um, that, so if you want to become a channel member, there's three tiers. There's a cheap one, there's a medium price one, and there's an expensive one. Um, and I'm hoping that um, I'll be doing a lot more live streams and like talking to modelers uh, for the paid members and have chats and uh, um, you know. I've, questions and answers and stuff like that in the future. So if you'd like to become a channel member, please feel free to become a channel member. And also if you're on the on the um, medium and the top tier ones, um, you can personally contact me through Discord. I answer questions through Discord for any questions that you have or you just want to have a chat about modeling, etc. Um, for the for the members on the top tier and there will be more competitions because i've got a jaguar to give away actually i've got a jaguar 420 model kit to give away in the in not so distant future for the channel members and be a competition so this ain't looking too bad you know, there's a few you know stress marks there but i think a little bit of you know we have to do a lot just a little bit of um a little bit of um, primer on there and that'll, that'll probably disappear actually 
raised panel lines. This is back in the day when I thought, when was this kit released? Um, 1966, the tooling for this was. It's 1920 now. So what does that make it? Uh, so it's 2020, this pack designed. What are you, 2020? Club. 56 years old. Is that 56 years old, this kit? And remember it, you know, it's been released so many times. It's not looking too bad, but it is a vintage classic now, so. Perfect. Perfect. There's not a lot of filling or messing to do with it anyway, so. Pretty happy with that. No answering that. It's a pain, isn't it, when my phone goes off when I'm trying to live stream. Uh, pain. Anyways, right, so that's done, that's done. I've been on an hour anyway, so I'm going to have to head off. It's half past ten. But um, I won't be back now. I'll probably do a live stream on Monday, um, continuing with building this Concorde. So if you can join me then, that's good. I'm going to release a video over the weekend because I've got... Um, I'm going to do a video about the Revel catalogue that is not going to be this year. A video coming as well on a kit that I've got, which I want to do an unboxing and a review of. Um, I've got a couple of Airfix catalogues that have now been added to the stash. So I'm going to be doing a video on, you know, doing the um, the page-by-page -page catalogs on the Airfix. So there will be more content, but I've had a month off. I've really enjoyed having a month off because it has been a bit of a stressful time. Um, and, um, and I've, you know, I did four models on the bounce and filmed them and put them up on YouTube and now I've just had a little bit of break and I'm going back into doing the uh, models again. But anyways, there you go. I well, thank you for watching. Um, also, is uh, become a channel member and, and you'll get more perks. You'll be able to contact me on Discord and we can have a chat. Um, I'm always available, by the way, if you want to comment down below, um, share the videos, share the channel out to people if you, you know. Um, also, if you want um, one of the Moz model stickers, uh, give us a shout, send me your address, I'll send you one for free. I always send out model um, Moz model stickers. I've got one here. So if you'd like a Moz model sticker, contact me and I'll send one out to you uh, as a freebie. Um, and if you're a channel member, you you know, I ask you to uh, give me your address and I'll send you one of these as well. Um, and also there'll be more prizes come in for the channel members too, if you want to become a member. I think that's it for me tonight. Thanks for watching and I will see you... Uh, probably Saturday. Thanks a lot all for watching. Take care and press that like button. Cheers all.